whatever one, today we're going to add and subtract radical expressions having the similar radicals. So, what are these the similar radicals? So, these are radicals that are not similar. So, meaning to say they do not have same index and same radical. So, example of that, so that it, we have square root of 3 and square root of 5. Okay, so as you can see, they have the same index here. We have 2, and then here we have 2, okay? But then they have different radicands, so they are what we call dissimilar radicals. Another example is that if you have cube root of 5 and square root of 5. So they have the same radicand, but then they have different index. So we have here 3 and this is 2, okay? Next, another one, another example of the similar radicals, we have square root of 8 and cube root of 2. So, they have different index and different radicals. So, let us now add and subtract radical expressions. Let's say, for example, we have square root of 2 plus square root of 8. So, notice that they are dissimilar radicals because they have different radicands. So, although they have same index, which is 2, and then here we have 2, but then they are dissimilar radicals. So, let us simplify. We have to copy square root of 2 since the two is, square root of 2 is in its simplest form. And then plus square root of Okay, so for 8, you're going to find the factors of 8 wherein one of its factors is a perfect square. So, we have 4 and then 2, right? So, 4 times 2. The next we have is square root of 2. You will just copy, then plus square root of 4, this one, we have 2. Then, after that, you're going to copy square root of 2. Okay? Next. As you can see, they are now similar radicals, right? We have a square root of 2, and then we have 2 square root of 2. So, what are you going to do is you are going to get the coefficients of the radicals. We have here 1. So, 1 plus 2, okay? Then, you will just copy square root of 2. So, here, the answer is... We have 3 square root of 2. Okay. 1 plus 2, we have 3. Then you will just copy square root of 2. Another one, number 2. Let's say, for example, we have a square root of 125 minus square root of 27. Okay. So here, 125 square root of 125 is not yet in simplest form, so you're going to factor 125, wherein one of its factors is a perfect square. So we have a square root of 25 and then 5, right? Okay. Then minus square root of 27, factors of 27, we have 9 times 3, right? 9 times 3. Okay. Then, let us now simplify square root of 25. We have 5. Then this one, you will just copy square root of 5. Then minus square root of 9. We have 3. Then this one, you will just copy square root of 3. Okay. So, as you can see, we cannot combine these two terms because they are the similar radicals. So... The final answer for number 2 is 5 square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 3. Okay? Next, number 3. Let's say we have 6 square root of 27 plus square root of 12. Okay. So, again, we're going to factor 27 wherein one of its factors is a perfect square. But then you will just copy 6, and then here we have 27, we have 9 times 3, right? 
9 times 3. You can enclose this one also in a parenthesis. Then, plus square root of 12, we have 4 times 3. Okay? Then, we have here 6. Then, what is the square root of 9? We have 3. So, you're going to write it outside the radical symbol. Then, this one, since that you cannot, 3 is not um, a perfect perfect square factor. So, you will just copy square root of 3. Then, plus square root of 4 is 2. Then, you will just copy square root of 3. Okay? Then, let us now multiply. 6 times 3, we have 18. Then, square root of 3, you will just copy it. Then, plus 2 is square root of 3. So, you're going to add the coefficients. We have 18 plus 2, we have 20. Then, you will just copy the same radical. So, we have square root of 3. So, for number 3, the answer is 20 square root of 3. Next, number 4. Let's say we have 4 square root of 75 minus 5 square root of 20 plus 3 square root of 12. Okay, so you will just copy 4. Then we all know that factors of 75 are 25 and then 3, right? Because if you're going to multiply 25 times 3, we have 70. 5. Then minus 5, square root of 20, factors of 20, we have 4, and then 5, okay? Then plus 3, square root of 12, we have 4 times 3, okay? And then, after that, we're going to simplify, we have 4 times, because the square root of 25 is 5, okay? You're going to write that outside the radical symbol. Then you will just copy square root of 3. Then minus 5. Then square root of 4 is 2. Then you will just copy square root of 5. Okay. Then plus 3. Then what is the square root of 4? We have 2. Then the square root of 3. Then, let us multiply. 4 times 5, we have 20. Then, square root of 3. Minus 5 times 2, we have 10. Square root of 5. Plus, 3 times 2, we have 6. Square root of 3. Okay. Then, let us now combine similar terms. So, what are the similar terms here? We have 20 square root of 3. And then, 6 square root of 3. So, what are you going to do is, you will just add 20 plus 6. So, we have 26. Then, you will just copy the same radical, which is square root of 3. Then, this one, just copy it. We have minus 10 square root of 5. So, this is the answer for number 4. Next, number 5. Let's say we have square root of 2x minus square root of 27x. Then plus square root of 8x cubed. Okay. So, we have square root of 2x because square root of 2x is in its simplest form. So, you will just copy that. Then minus... Square root of 27, we all know that um, 27 is square root of 27. It's not yet in simplified form. So, you will just get the factor of 27. We have 9. Okay. 9 and then 3. Right? So, how about x variable? So, as you can see, the exponent of x variable is 1. Which is or which cannot be divided by the index 2. Right? So, you will just write it here on the non-perfect square factor. Then, plus square root of. So, we have here 8 times um, 
how about 4? Uh, 8. We have factors are 4 times 2, right? So, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. How about the x variable? So, as you can see, uh, you can factor x cubed, wherein one of its factors is a perfect square. So, you're going to look or think of a number less than 3, which is divisible by the index 2. So, we have x squared, right? Then, the other x, you're going to write it here to the non-perfect square factor. Let us make it clear. So, we have 4x squared and then this one we have 2x. Okay. Then, you will just copy square root of 2x. Then minus square root of 9, we have 3. Then you will just copy square root of 3x. Okay. Plus square root of 4, we have 2. Square root of x squared, we have x. So we have 2x. Then again, you will just copy square root of 2x. Then combine similar terms, you will just add these two. Right? Because they are similar terms. So, what are you going to do is get the coefficients. We have 1 and then here we have 2x. So, we have 1 plus 2x. Enclose that in a parenthesis. Then, copy the same radical. So, we have a square root of 2x. Then, this one, you will just copy that. Minus 3 square root of 3x. Okay. So, that's the answer for number 5. Let's say, for example, number 6. We have cube root of 54, then plus 2 cube root of 16, then minus cube root of 2. So here, again, we're going to factor 54, wherein one of its factors is a perfect cube. So we have cube root of 27 and then 2 so if you're going to multiply 27 times 2 the result is 54 then plus 2 cube root of 16 factors of 16 we have 8 and then 2 so 8 is a perfect cube right then minus this is in simplest form this is already in simplest form so you will just copy that cube root of 2 then let us now simplify. We have cube root of 27. We have 3. Then, this one, you will just copy cube root of 2. Then, plus, we have 2. Then, cube root of 8, we have 2. So, multiply it to 2. And then, write it outside the radical. Then, we have cube root of 2. Then minus cube root of 2. This one. Okay. Then since that they are now similar radicals, so not yet. Let us now multiply this first. We have 3 cube root of 2 plus 2 times 2. We have 4 cube root of 2. Then minus cube root of 2. Okay. So they are now similar radicals. So... Let us now get the coefficients. We have 3, 4, and then 1, right? Okay, so we have 3 plus 4, then minus 1, this one. Close in a parenthesis, cube root of 2. Actually, you, it is okay if you will not write that, or you may. We write 3 plus 4 minus 1. Okay, then in closing the parenthesis, so we have 3 plus 4, we have 7, minus 1, we have 6. Cube root of 2. So this is the answer for number 6. So that's it. So we're done with adding and then subtracting the similar radicals. So I hope you learned on how to add and then subtract radicals specifically if they have 
if they are dissimilar radicals. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and then click the notification button for more videos and updates. Thank you!